new video and I still haven't decided a name for it hopefully by the time this is up I mean I need to come up with a name by then today this morning when I woke up I just felt very spontaneous and I decided to make a video and I, I was thinking blue blue eyeshadow I don't know why blue was stuck in my head blue is not really my preferred color of outfit or eye makeup but I decided to be a bit spontaneous with this one and that's why I've put together this look and this very pretty necklace that I'm wearing I'm sure you've watched quite a few videos of mine in the past and you know my obsession with statement necklaces so this probably was my inspiration behind this look I'm not too sure it was just literally a case of I opened three different eyeshadow palettes of mine I opened my Coastal Sense 88 and then I had my NYX uh, blue um, sexy what's that uh, sexy blue eyes palette and just a few brushes and I just decided to go with the flow I have nothing planned I'm sure you'll be able to tell when I'm uh, uh, as you watch the video as you can tell I've got blue a lot of blue going on in my outer corners and inside I've used a bit of um, it's actually a mustard color I don't know if it looks yellow or white I'm not sure what color the camera might pick up but I've originally used a light mustard and a few different shades of blue so if you'd like to find out how i achieved this look well it is a bit crazy but you know it's good to be a bit crazy every now and then um so if you'd like to find out how i achieved this look then uh, please keep watching first step is foundation using a fat buffer brush i'm going to blend in the foundation to my next step is concealer apply a compact powder using a fat powder brush then use a light powder to highlight the area under your eyes. This will also seal in the concealer, the bridge of your nose. Take a dark powder and an angled brush and contour your face. Contour your nose with the same dark powder. Apply some more white powder in the center of your nose to highlight it. Define your eyebrows. For eye makeup, I'm going to start off with a base and I'm using Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. Before applying my eyeshadow, I'm going to use um, this loose powder from MAC. This is to just make sure that uh, I don't have any eyeshadow fallouts and when I do, I can just sweep it off. Then I'm going to take a light mustard color and using a MAC 230, apply it all over my lids. Apply some in the inner corner as well. Then I'm going to use my NYX um, Sexy Blue Eyes eyeshadow palette. And yes, it's broken. Then I'm going to take some of this gold color with the same MAC 230 brush and apply it over that mustard color. And some down as well. Now using a different eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take this blue color right here and apply it in the outer corner. And some down as well. And I'm just going to go halfway with it. Next, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this um, shimmery um, off-white color. And highlight the inner corners of my eyes as well. Then I'm going to top this blue with this darker shade. And uh, it's a very pretty navy blue. And using the same brush, I'm going to apply some of that color. And I'm going to use a pencil top brush, a very skinny pencil top brush, and apply the same navy blue, my bottom lids as well. Then I'm going to smooth out the rough edges with my MAC 217, one of my favorite blending brushes. I'm going to line my waterline with a silver pencil. Then I'm going to use a dark blue um, eyeliner pencil from Chambord. Apply it on my top lids and my bottom lids. Then apply a black liner over it. Then 
can take the darkest blue color over here and just smudge out the black liner. And once you're done with this blue splash of color, I'm gonna go back to some more of that mustard and just apply it on top, just to make sure that it's still prominent and it hasn't been hidden because of all the blue. Final step is Bonjour's Twist Up the Volume Mascara. I'm in love with this mascara. It gives amazing length. And once you've done the first step, all you need to do is twist the cap and then it becomes a little more tight like this. And then you apply your second coat. Love this product, one of my recent favorites. And to give this uh, a little more drama, I'm gonna apply some false lashes. Then I'm gonna line my lips. And I'm gonna apply this very neutral color from MAC and it's called Brave. This is the kind of lipstick that'll go with any color eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna apply L'Oreal's Glam Shine Volumizer Lip Gloss in the shade Eternal Rose. And for my blush, I'm going to use this really cute, um, uh, it's like a candy pink color um, that I bought from Thailand. <laughs> I don't know what brand this is. Just use any blush of your choice. Wipe off any eyeshadow fallout. And this is the final look. Just a fun, um, <laughs> I still haven't decided a name for this. Uh, I, I'm probably just going to call it like a spontaneous blue eyeshadow look that I decided to do when I woke up one fine morning. Yeah, yeah, it might have a bit of a long name. Or well, I don't know, let's just see. Uh, by the time I edit it, I'll, I'll, I'll think of a name. This video does have a few steps. That's probably because I didn't have anything planned from the start. I just decided to do whatever. So as I was doing it, I was like, oh, no, this needs a little bit of that. Oh, that needs a little bit of this. So I, I just went with the flow, really. I mean, uh, when you do it on yourself, I'm sure you can simplify this a lot more than I did. I do have quite a few steps in this one. If you've enjoyed this video and if you like watching my videos, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page. That would mean a lot to me. Uh, Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Final step is mascara and I'm using a uh, Final step is final step is now, uh, you now from this now from this video you will note now from this video now from this video you'll notice that I'm